Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Venom Machine Support, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the couple motors feature found on a Crane National Vendors 157, 158, 167, and a 168 snack vending machine. So let's get started. The couple motors feature found in the Crane National Vendor Snack Vending Machine allows you to couple, marry, or combine two Venn motors to one selection. Now this will be useful if you found that you are underutilizing your candy tray, which would either be an 8 or 10 select tray, and you want to convert those, some of those selections or the entire tray over to Venn bagged items such as chips or cookies. Now I'm going to be using this Crane National 158 behind me here in this example, but this is going to be relevant for Crane National 157, the 158, as well as the 167 and the 168 snack vending machine. So the first thing to do is let me explain to you a little bit about the trays. So on this Crane National 158, we've got six trays. We consider this a chip tray. The top tray here is a chip tray. This is another chip tray and another chip tray for the first two top three trays, the first top three trays, excuse me, are your chip selections. And then here we've got a candy selection as well as the E tray is also another candy selection. And the very last tray here we consider a chip as well or pastry. Now if I was to slide out the C tray here, which is a chip selection, on the Crane National Vendors they are going to be jewel, spirals, augers, or helixes. And these are going to be these two coils. Now on this selection here, we've got one single Venn motor driving both of these spirals. Now these spirals are, one is clockwise and the other is anti-clockwise turning spiral. But through this gearing system, it allows the spirals to run together at the same time off of one motor. Now if we slide out the candy tray on our D tray here, we will notice that we've got eight selections on this machine and we've actually got eight Venn motors on the back. Now this spiral here for this number for this D0 selection as well as your D1 selection will notice that one is a clockwise, the other is an anti-clockwise turning helix or spiral. So by using the couple motors feature we can marry these two selections or Venn motors together so that when D0 is pressed both motors will turn delivering the product that will be inside here. Now this is how we can convert this selection over to a chip selection. The very easy thing we need to do is we need to remove the separator. So if I was to take the separator out, which I push back and lift up, I can remove the separator and then now this is now looks identical to the C0 on the chip tray. Now all I have to do here is go into the programming to marry these two motors or couple these two motors together so they work off of the one selection. So let me show you how to do that. Now a quick sidestep. I think it's important that you understand how the motors or your selections are configured inside a Crane National Vending Machine when you get into coupling motors to understand the bigger picture. Now if we look at our selections, we'll notice that we have an alphanumeric numbering system in the Crane National Vendors machine. What I mean by that is we've got A0, we've got a letter and a number that represents our selection. And if we look across the top tray here, we have A0, A2, A4, A6. Well, those, are, those numbers here, which are after the letter, are all even numbered. Now if we jump down to the D tray, here we have D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, and D7. We have eight motors on this tray, but yet we're using a zero numbering system, so zero will act as a physical motor number one. It's really irrelevant though, but it's better that you understand that. But notice we've got both an even and an odd numbered selection on your candy tray. Now this is what's important to understand is the when coupling the motors on the candy on this candy tray here for example we're going to be using the even numbered motor as the controller motor this is the selection that the customer will enter they will enter in the even numbered selection just like they do on the 
chip tray, they enter in an even number, which be A0 selection in order to drive that. So when we couple D0 to D1, we are going to enter in the even numbered controller motor for this coupling or this union of these two motors. So I think it's important that you understand of how that is configured inside the machine when you're getting into coupling motors. It can get a conf bit confusing when you're looking at the display. So with that little sidestep here, let's get into how to couple the VEN motors. Now when coupling the VEN motors, we're going to be using the monetary door on the control on the machine here, and this is on the right-hand side. And I'm going to focus our attention here on the upper operator's keypad. I'm going to press the button that says product configuration. So I'm going to press that one time, and here I'm presented with CNFO Snack, which is the snack configuration. I'm going to press the down arrow until I find CPLMTRS, which is short for couple motors. And once I'm at couple motors, I'm going to go ahead and press edit to enter the couple motors function. So I press edit, and here I'm presented with A, 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 A. What's happened here is the control board has sensed that there are four motors on the A tray. So if I press the down arrow, we'll get B, 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 B. Again, the control board has sensed that there are four motors on the B tray. Same thing with the C tray. Now the thing where things change is when we press the down arrow and we get to the D tray, we'll notice that we'll have eight Ds across the screen. This is because the control board has sensed there are eight motors plugged in on the D tray. Now to start coupling a selection on the D or candy tray, again, we're going to enter in the controller numbers motor, which is always the even numbered motor. Again, we're going to be using D0 and D1. We're going to marry, couple, or union those two motors together. So I need to enter in the even numbered selection. So I'm going to press zero on the lower keypad. And then here, the screen changes with the plus sign where the zero D was, or the number one motor was. And then we've got a regular D after that. Now I have just coupled these two selections together. So when the customer is to press D0, both of these motors will turn at the same time. This will also eliminate the D1 motor. The customer cannot press D1 anymore because it's no longer going to be utilized. So that's going to, if we're going to marry these two selections together, we will want to remove the D1 selection label. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. Now, if I go into marry these two selections together, I can simply again press two, which would be the even or the controller numbers motor. And then here we're gonna to go to D4 to D5. I need to press into four. And then for D6, D7, I just simply press in six because again, that is the even numbered selection of that union. If you want to turn off the coupling, I simply press again the controller number selection, which is always the even number. If I press zero, now these two selections are now uncoupled. And if I go over here, I can press two. Those are now uncoupled, again, four and six. Now everything has been completely uncoupled on this tray. Now you don't have to go in sort of a sequential manner. I can have, say I just want D6 and D7 to be coupled. I simply can just press six. And when I do that, the screen has a plus sign at the very last two selection or the very last two motors on the screen. Let me show you a little quick shortcut. So I'm gonna go ahead and press exit. I'm back at the top level of couple motors. If I press uh, edit, I'm gonna go down to the D tray. I'm gonna uncouple the six motor. And here I've got all Ds across the screen. If I wanted to couple all those motors at once, instead of going zero, two, four, six, I can simply press test. And it's in the lower left-hand side, it says test. If I press that, it automatically configures that or couples that tray, all of them. All the motors in that tray have been coupled to their partnering odd number selection. D0 to D1, D2 to D3, D4 to D5, D6 to D7. That is a quick shortcut. Now, if you want to uncouple those motors, there is not a shortcut. You have to go back and key in the individual selection of the controller motor. To eliminate this, I press 0, 2, 4, 6. And here I am back to all those motors uncoupled. Now, when navigating the motor coupling, you can also just press in the shelf letter. So I can go A over here, and that drives me back up to the A tray. I could hit B, C, D, E, and F. Now, once you've got your coupling done on the selection, so I'm going to go back here and edit couple motors, go back down to the D tray, and I'm going to go ahead and hit test. And that gives me everything coupling on the D tray we need to make the physical changes. So let me explain to you how to do that. 
Now with the physical changes, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the tray out and we're going to remove the dividers that are separating these two helixes, spirals. So do that, I'm gonna press, take the divider, I'm gonna push back and lift up. And this comes out, that is now coupled together in this selection here. And I'm gonna take that out, push back, lift up. Now how this works is, put these up here, is there's a little leg or foot that locks into place. So there's a little notch at the very front of the trays here that when you push these in, and there's a little spring in the back, so when you push these in, the spring pushes it forward, and this little thing, it locks into place, it keeps this in place. So when you remove them, you're pushing back and lifting this out of the notch. So here, I have now completed the chip tray, and the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to need to remove the D1, the D3, the D5, and the D7 labels in order to make this actually a true for select tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully remove this. And these are just little plastic tabs that come out. So you might wanna find something a little sharp to get on there and remove that. So I'm gonna do this, the uh, number five selection here. And that's removed. Then here I'm gonna go ahead and do seven. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and remove the price wheel if you are still using these. So as you can see here, we've got D that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the price wheel here on this one. Last selection here, pull these out right there. And that will show us that we've now got a, an additional candy tray, or excuse me, chip tray inside our vending machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and press exit. And then here, if I wanted to get into a free vent, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the machine into free vent here. And hit edit, free vent on, I'm gonna hit exit. And then here to show you, if I was to press D zero, you'll notice that both of these motors turn at the same time. Now, if I go back into, if I can hear real quickly, if I press product config, config, excuse me, and I press down to couple motors, I'm gonna edit and go down to my D tray. I'm gonna go ahead and press D zero or hit zero to uncouple these two motors. Hit exit, I'm gonna come out. And if I hit D zero, one motor turns. Again, come back, I'm gonna couple those motors again. I'm just gonna hit press motor config, down arrow until I get to product config, until I get down to couple motors, hit edit, down to the D tray, and I'm gonna press zero again to couple this motor. So it works with D zero and D one, hit exit, and then here I'm gonna press D zero, and again, both motors turn at the same time. Well, I hope you found that information useful about how to utilize and configure the couple motors feature found in your Crane National Vendors 157, 158, 167, and 168 snack vending machine. Now, if you haven't already, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell below. You'll be notified next time I upload the video. As well, check the description for any affiliate links I may have that actually help support the channel at no extra cost to you. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.